LG says that their new camera on the LG G4 can replace a DSLR. So can it? In short, yes and no. So let me explain. The back-facing camera has a 16 megapixel 1 over 2.6 inch sensor. The lens has an extremely wide aperture of f1.8. In layman's terms, this camera gives you good detail, a large sensor, great depth of field, as well as good low light performance. The front-facing camera is 8 megapixels with an aperture of f2.0. So before we get into test photos, I want to talk about manual mode. Manual mode is awesome, just plain awesome. You can control white balance, aperture, shutter speed, focus. In fact, I got these awesome bokeh balls just using the manual focus. So that goes to show how much you can really do with this camera. Also, shooting RAW is great, because RAW is basically an uncompressed version of JPEG, which makes it easier to edit on a computer. If you don't want to take these gigantic RAW images to your internal storage, you can also save these images to an SD card in which you insert into the back of your phone. I don't think it would be appropriate to spend 3 minutes just talking about features, so I compiled a list of all the features and settings and options you can do with the camera. So you can pause if you need more time to read. So here are some test photos I took on the LG G4. The camera has high dynamic range, which means that it won't underexpose or overexpose some parts of the photo. As you can see from the pictures, the dynamic range is pretty good, and the camera does a good job of capturing the vibrance and saturation of the scene. But in some pictures, it will still be a little overexposed once in a while if it's way too bright. Due to the f1.8 aperture, the camera has amazing depth of field. When LG said this could be a DSLR replacement, I was a bit skeptical, but the bokeh this camera produces is pretty much up to par with my Nikon D3100. Keep in mind that the lower aperture number, the shallower depth of field there will be. However, an f1.8 aperture on a tiny sensor will have a less shallow depth of field than an f2.8 aperture on a gigantic sensor. The camera on the G4 is also very fast, taking less than half a second to take a photo. Also, by double-clicking the volume down button while the phone is locked, the camera will launch and take a photo within one second. However, these photos aren't the best when you use the quick launch feature. Also, if you don't want to take the photo always from the shortcut, you can disable it in the settings. Moving on to the detail, with 16 megapixels in the LG G4's camera, the detail is straight up amazing. Here are some photos showing the detail of the camera. Even when zoomed in a lot, there are lots of details in the photo, and it retains all its sharpness and crispiness. The LG G4 camera is super crispy. Here are some low light photos taken with the LG G4. It does really well in low light, and sometimes you can't even tell they were taken in unfavorable lighting conditions. Moving on to the front facing camera, it's nothing to write home about, but I guess it's pretty good too. There's a lot of detail, but I found that the white balance was off pretty often. There's also a beauty feature which basically smooths out your skin and I have no idea why LG included that in there because I can't see anyone using it. It just looks really really unnatural. So overall the camera is the best I've seen on any smartphone so far. I'd even go as far as to say that it can replace an entry level DSLR under some circumstances. So of course you don't get that removable lens which DSLRs are famous for and therefore you can't zoom in optically. So those are situations where you would need a DSLR. The autofocus is the best I've seen on any phone so far, and it even rivals my DSLR. And it's really fast because it uses lasers to shoot at something and then detects how far it is away from the camera. Then it focuses and it is really, really fast, even in low light situations where that is something that my DSLR struggles in. So yes, I'd say that it does replace an entry level DSLR, but only in some circumstances. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and share this video with family and friends. Also, stay tuned for more LG G4 videos, so subscribe so they show up in your subscription box. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.